Axiom and his incredibly powerful two to us builders. That's why I'm here to teach you the basics of it. So the first thing that you're going to notice is that your flight direction is all wonky. Look at this. It's pretty wonky. And the way of fixing it is by pressing Alt and go into this two bar over here and go into flight direction. It's set to camera. Now it's set to horizontal and voila. All right. So the second thing that you're going to notice almost immediately, probably the first thing actually, is these little new thing that pops up on the right of your hotbar so basically how to access it is pressing out and here you have a bunch of options and the first one that we're going to look at is move so how to use it is basically you right click and left click and then you can expand your area by pressing the middle button on your mouse and uh, it, it just makes your area much bigger now you can scroll with your mouse uh, to where you want to place things. For cancelling the action, you press the left button. And for actually placing it in the world, you press the right button. You also have a little guide underneath your crosshair if you need to remember anything on the fly. But that is basically it. If you want to undo something, you can press Ctrl Z. And if you want to redo something, you press Ctrl Y. I don't know why it is Y, but it is what it is. All right, moving on to clone. It's basically the same way of selecting an area as move, but you have a few differences on the placing. So the main difference for a move is that you leave your copy material behind and you can make multiple copies of that same material at the same time unlike world in it and control z control z control z everything goes away you have uh basically i feel like is unlimited um a control z all right moving on to stack it's the same way of uh, selecting an area as the other twos and you can uh again uh ex expand the area by pressing the middle button on your mouse and the main difference is that you stack literally you stack the area which is pretty handy look at that you can also stack in uh, in any axis which is really cool look i now have a gigantic uh, cacophony but it's visually cacophonically cacophonic also something really important with stack and some other tools is that you can turn off copy air so what that does basically is if you copy in a tree and it goes over the fence it will delete the fans, but if you turn off air, the fans will remain, and only the blocks of the structure that you're copying will be uh, replaced. And also, you can copy entities, which is really handy if you're copying paintings or anything that has any entities. So, Smear. I love Smear because it's not the same thing as Stack. It may sound like the same thing as Stack, but the first main difference of Smear is that, first of all, you can Stack. And you can stack diagonally. And if you're feeling like it, stack uh, vertically. Vertically diagonally? I don't quite know. But also, it's quite handy if you want to stack on top of a block already. Let me show you exactly what I mean. For example, I just I, I didn't stack on top of this tree, on top of the selection that I had here. It was uh, stacked on top of the block that was already here. All right, moving on to the next two, which is Extrude. Extrude is pretty handy to make quick adjustments to your builds. For example here, I want these to extrude just a tiny bit out so I can extrude it. And also, I can shrink it if I want. Extrude was really quick to explain and also will be erased. It has the same selection too as the other twos. And here... You can press delete on your keyboard and we'll delete everything here. And also, you can just press uh, the right button. Well, that's it. Moving on to the symmetry tool. This one is a bit more complicated than the others. But basically, what it does is symmetry. No way, Gob. It does symmetry? Oh, you tell me. All right, for using the symmetry tool, you start with the node, which you can get by left clicking in any block. And here you have this little thing that might look quite terrifying, but it's quite simple, actually. You can press Ctrl to nudge it a bit and left click again. And do will go to the corners of that one block. But we will keep it in the center just for this example. And you can also 
change it, but it's scrolling your scroll. It can also go up and down. Right, for using this node thing here, you gotta press Ctrl F, and this thing, this quite un Minecrafty thing will appear. But basically, what we'll do is copy everything that you do here, there, look. And it will rotate it. And they also stack. So if I go over here, you're going to see that we're going to just complete this side and not that other one. So what we can do is Ctrl F. And now we can complete this side. It does also work in the Y axis. If you look down or up and press Ctrl F, this third uh, code will appear. And what you can do with it is go up. But not only up, it goes down also. If I place these here, look, look, it goes down. So we have symmetry on all axes. So you see, every time you place anything on the blue axis, nothing pops up on the red axis. That's why there's a rotation tool that you can turn on by pressing Ctrl R. And what it does basically is place things on our axis you can also use the node with just a rotation also you may have noticed that you don't actually need to get into the context bar to press ctrl f ctrl r and all that stuff you just need to press it and it will work nicely also for deleting it just press delete and it's gone but another functionality that i haven't mentioned is that you can place it in the corner of the blocks so basically that allows for symmetry in odd numbers so basically i can make like stuff like this all right that is the context bar and you saw at the start of this video the other bar the i don't know what to call this bar and there is a lot of more things to be reviewed here and uh the 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 my game crashed and there is a lot to talk about here so basically you're gonna have the action bar here you're gonna have like a survival spectator adventure mode bar i do prefer still to use these one from minecraft um there is edit block attributions create display entities and this is telling you to update axiom i have an update in mine but basically um this one we're not gonna touch these two in this video because they are a bit more complicated i don't actually know much about it because it's the new display entity from minecraft it's just a handy tool that is on axiom it's way 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 too complicated to me all right so basically here on the left you have no clip which is basically no clip it's it's pretty self-explanatory and your placement which is basically amazing it's just too good to be true but it's true has place which is really handy when you're building like walls and let me show you how it looks when you don't have it on infinite rich which is basically infinite rich look at that you can place things really really far away which is amazing i, I always have these on and combined with fast place you can do this twinker which is uh, one of the best things ever because it's basically the debug stick but on steroids because you can click anything and they will rotate between the possible states of that block you can make strip logs into logs or the vice versa and also really handy thing that you can do it's not a state of a block but you can chisel it no updates so basically what it does is let you place any block any sun floating or for example do these which is cursed but also these it can be really handy in many places and the moment that you turn it off look wait hold on a minute oh there we go it falls off force place force place is really handy for us builders especially in creative this does not apply much for our lovely survivor players uh, i am including in that survivor player at least but basically what allows us to do is place whatever whenever and combined with no updates this can be really amazing look at these bulldozer basically the same thing as fast place but the contrary and a last but not least is replace mode that is a shortcut for this lovely thing uh which is ctrl r 
And you do basically, uh, for example, if you uh, use infinite reach, you can just replace things. Look how amazing this is. All right, the left bar is covered, and now we can move on to the main thing. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hot bars to choose. This left bar here with the percentage, you can increase and fly really fast to 99%. It's 99% of your uh, original speed, which is really handy to go around places really quickly. Look at that. I'm a fast boy. And I'm a crazy boy also. Look at this. If you want to go check my latest episode of building my friend's crazy ideas, go do that. It's pretty fun. Also, don't forget to give a like and subscribe to this video. All right, moving on to the two box. So here you have uh, show maker entity gizmos. And this is, again, not something that we're going to touch on because it's the entity display thing that it's quite complicated and I don't have the knowledge of. And also here you can define the limit of infinite reach. It can be like nine blocks instead of infinite show press keys is basically this here on the bottom left that you see in the right sorry uh that you see in here uh if i turn it off it goes away if i turn it on it comes back liquid opacity does taste to your water though it doesn't work with lava unfortunately our uh, brightness it just makes everything brighter and there's also flight momentum which makes your movement really weird and there's also one more thing about axiom the right shift button I don't even want to start with these because uh, this is wild. This is just Blender in Minecraft. All right, that's the basics of Axiom. It's a really complete program filled with amazing tools. And, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, consider giving a like and subscribing to see more of these kind of videos. And I'll see you in the next video, hopefully. Bye-bye.